Hi, welcome back. Uh, today's Thursday. April. I don't know. It's the first week of April. Anyways, got some sun. Went for a ride. Went out here in the garage and uh, kind of cleaned up the board. Not really much to paint. And so I decided oh, I'll start another small project. I got a big project coming in soon. Uh, working with Pastor Chad. Going to talk him through that. And then I said, well, I just want a little something to play around with for a little bit. So what I'm going to do is do an unboxing, which I've never done. I don't see the value in it, but it'll make sense in a little bit. So just hang with me. So I'm going to do an unboxing and then uh, kind of follow along this project. I, it shouldn't take me more than a couple days, three days tops. I'm not sure of the outcome. Uh, hopefully it'll be all right. So um, this is what we're going to do. We've got a little project. This is going to be an unboxing. This is Stealth. RT, it's a Dodge, 1995 is the year. Um, to be honest, I don't know how old this thing is. I, I think it's really old, to be honest with you. Oh, the box is pretty worn, kind of beat up. I think I got it in an auction. I didn't spend more than a couple few dollars with it. So we're going to open it up and see what's inside. Well, I got the directions. That's a good start, I think. You got the directions and... Usually on the front of it, they tell you all about the vehicle. And uh, there is only one phrase that can aptly describe the Dodge Stealth RT. Super tech. If there's something pertaining to automotive wizardry that is at all available, it was on the Dodge Stealth. So that's kind of neat. And then they go through and the, the, the directions are uh, kind of yellowed. So again, I'm, I'm sure this is old. Um, typical, we're going to start with the engine and the transmission. Engine first, then the transmission. Um, now we'll put the drivetrain in and put the body in. Let's see here. Put the drivetrain in and the body. As you can see, uh, there's not really a lot to put the, this together. So I think this is going to go simple. My only problem is I can't paint shiny worth a darn. I just can't do it. I, uh, I've tried different paints, tried different techniques, but it just doesn't work. So that's going to be a challenge. Um, here's the chrome wheels. Got some wheels in there. The kit itself come in one bag. Um, here's how to do it. You can subscribe to a magazine that's probably gone now it's been so long this is the the windshield it's real clear it hasn't yellowed yet my thing is i'll probably be covering this with my fingerprints before too long in the glue um here's the red tail lights so tail lights are still there got four tires There's all four, and I have no idea why, but there's one, two light bulbs in here. I have no idea why there's light bulbs in here. I don't, I'll, I'll look in the directions. We'll see if they're in there. Um, here's something you don't see very rare, very often is uh, the race stripes that goes down the side. I really don't see that. There's some other stickers on there. can barely make them out. I think, oh, one's the license plate. Look real close. There's the license plate. And then there's two other stickers. I think they go under the hood to let you know where the belts run. So um, this thing's still sealed. Check it out. Still all in the original. So uh, I'm going to tear it open. Let's see what's inside. What I got to do when you're building a model is you gotta wash them. You gotta take them in, put them in uh, some dishwasher soap and give them a good scrub. And the reason for that is there's release oils on it from when they were made. And if you don't do this, there's a chance that you can uh, ruin your paint job that you do um, because it won't have, uh, it won't adhere to it. So that's the, the bag's empty. 
throw that in the trash. One of the little parts that fell off, I have to keep track of this. I don't want to lose it, is the steering wheel. So we got the steering wheel. Here's the body. You see it? There's the body. In the back. Looking from the back. Here's the undercarriage. Um, here's the dash. This is kind of cool. Look close at this. There's the dash. Now I've got my mini painting down pretty good. So we're going to see what kind of justice I can do to this uh, dash. And we got the bumpers and the hood. There's the bumpers and the hood. Now, what I got to do is, like I said, I got to wash these. And then after I wash it, I'm going to have to primer it. Now, as you've seen in the box, the car is yellow. Yellow is the absolute worst paint to paint. Oh, my gosh. Yellow just does not work. Um, everybody, but everybody complains about yellow. So I'm not doing yellow. I'm going to do a red. I'm pretty sure I know the red I want to use. I've used it before. Very cool looking red. Uh, I've had some luck. Uh, if I could reach it, there's a hood I painted. And I painted it with the red and it came out great. Uh, but it took the whole car and multiple times to get it to the point where it was just okay. And uh, I went back and I got it. And now it looks pretty good, but I've never done a whole car. So that's going to be a challenge. Next parts is the um, we got the interior. Here's the interior if you can make it out. Got the back seats up toward the top here, and then uh, the front. Now a lot of guys they'll do the stuff that's called flocking, and they'll put it in. It looks like it's got uh, the fuzz like in a, a real car. I've never done that. I've heard of it, and I've just never had the courage to do it. Um, I'd have to order everything, so I'm not too sure I'm going to do that, but I'm going to give it some thought. If I think I can pull it off, I'll do it. I'll order up some flock, and we'll give it a go. Um, so now we got the, the drivetrain. Here's the, the front right here. Let me get it turned around. Right there, there's the spoiler for the back. There's the, um, let's see if I can get it in, frame. Looking... Oh, it's got to go up. Okay. There's catalytic converter and exhaust. Um, looks like some shocks. There's this over here by my fingers here. That looks like the uh, cross members. And then uh, in the middle there, if you can see it. Oh, there we go. In the middle there, there's the drivetrain, the um, prop shaft. Here's the exhaust. I do have a metal or a method I should say of how to chrome and chroming so we'll chrome tip this I haven't decided I think it probably be as old as this is it's probably got some rust on it and I'm gonna have to research I don't know if the body was made out of metal or not I think the hood might be fiberglass so you don't want to rust something that was fiberglass or plastic like the bumpers it wouldn't be right if you weathered the the bumper uh, some chip paint, yes, yeah, scratches, absolutely. Um, bug flex, absolutely, but rust, not so much. So I got uh, got two seats, got a couple seats here. I, I'll do a little research. I'll find out what the color is supposed to be of the, the seats, and I'll find out and do that. Um, quite frankly, I don't know what that is. I'm thinking it's just a piece of plastic. Uh, we got the engine, which is like I said, we'll start there with the engine. There it is down here. There's the engine blocks. And then the fronts. And there's, uh, let me see if I can, okay, there's the front. And there's the pulleys. And then uh, exhaust hoses and everything. And then the brake drums, which is kind of odd. I'm pretty sure the stealth had. Um, rotors, disc brakes, not pads. So that's the body. That's uh, what's in the box. Right now I'm going to run it into the kitchen and get some soapy water. I'll get some soap on it and then I'll hit it with some uh, primer 
and we'll be back when we we'll get started. So uh, stay tuned. This is the uh, 1995 Dodge Stealth RT Turbo. And uh, like I said, uh, yeah, maybe I'll research and find out just what year this is. This is by AMT Ertl. So it's, it's kind of new, but not real new. Anyways, that's what's going on out in the garage today. Got a big project coming up, so I'm just kind of going to just putter around out here. Maybe I'll do some cleaning. No, not really. All right, good check you later.